Hi guys, if you'd like to see how I created these cool little dinosaurs out of resin, that I will eventually put in a tray for my grandson, then stick around. Let's get started. Hi guys. So I've been meaning to make my grandson a table for his room and I wasn't sure what I was going to put in it. I didn't want it super babyish but I didn't you know because I wanted him to be able to have the table you know as he turned into a toddler and maybe up to five, six years old, something like that. So I got these dinosaur molds and they seem like pretty decent molds. So they're very soft. So there are seven dinosaurs. I am not going to name them, but they got very cool texture in them. can name that one. I think that's a Stegosaurus. The T-Rex. Uh, what's that bird one? Pterodactyl. Brontosaurus? Yeah, that's all I got. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to name them. And then it came with the this, which is just leaves. So I don't want them, my heart wants to make them all glitter dinosaurs, right? But um, Remy is a boy. So, I mean, granted, we all know that I'm going to turn around and make glitter dinosaurs also. So don't worry. But I just thought I'd use a bunch of different colors. Um, I'm using some primary colors. I wanted them bright, but still with some some greens and some natural natural colors. So I am using a bunch of colors from Just Paint, which is Petra. Uh, Youngblood, her line of pigments. And then I got a color, a couple color shifts, chameleons, just from obviously China somewhere. I think I ordered them, I don't know, they might be from Color Tech. I think they're from Color Tech. So that's actually Japan. Anyway, so yeah, so I am going to mix up my resin. I'll be using um, KS Liquid Art. These are not deep molds, so I don't really have to use the casting resin. So I will get all mixed up and then I will come back. See you soon. Okay guys, I'm back. So, that was a lot of colors. That was a lot of mixing. So, um, while I was mixing the pigments in, I was using my respirator. Um, but until I get my microphone, while I'm recording, I'm just going to put it, um, put them in and not wear the respirator, but I won't be adding any heat to it either. So, um, if I was to wear, add heat to it, 
then I would definitely be wearing it but because I'm doing the molds I'm not wearing it and because I'm recording and most of the time you can't hear me anyway and I'm really trying to speak up so uh, I just figure if I had my respirator on you really wouldn't hear me okay blabble 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 alright there's these nine colors and I'm just going to fill them up I don't think I'm gonna use like the same colors in all of them I don't know I don't know how this is gonna work because if I put I don't know let's just do it we'll put some of this blue this is gonna be a mess and I'm probably going to time-lapse this so um, from here on out I'm probably not going to talk but um, When you have molds like this, if you just kind of like spread them apart, let that epoxy get in there. And then once there's some epoxy in there, the other will follow and it will level itself out. This is the first time using these molds, so. I don't know if they'll have any flaws in them. We won't know that until I unmold. Um, should they be all one color or should I mix them? Uh, let me tell you, this chameleon stuff from Colortech is pretty amazing. And I'll show you close up while I put you on time lapse. All right. So before I put you on time lapse, I'm going to show you. Hang on, let me see. Is my flash on? No, hang on. Okay. So this is a chameleon, hang on, from Color Tech. They are a Japanese company. That one's just kind of bronzy. This one is the green one. It's got a green, it's really not showing. Green, blue, purple shift to it. And then this one is a green, oh, it's showing that one good. A green, purple, blue. See that? So yeah, those are pretty cool. So okay, I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse now and we're gonna fill these up and I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, guys, so I stopped the time lapse because um, you didn't really need to see all that. I just basically filled them all up. So I have a ton of resin left over. These did not take very much resin at all. Um, so I am just going to, um, if you have a cup full of resin, you want to continue to stir it, even if it's a long working time resin, continue to stir it and get it in littler cups as soon as you can. So I'll be doing that momentarily. But right now, I've got a couple big bubbles, so I'm going to take my little barbecue lighter and just get like the bigger bubbles move very quickly you don't want to burn your mold that one needs a little bit more resin I want them to be full so that they don't have a little lip on them. All right, back with the lighter. All right, those are for the big bubbles. Now for the dog hair that Koja graciously always wants to give us. So this is 99% alcohol. Just kind of want to spritz them and it'll pop any bubbles that come to the surface. So, all right, I'll bring you guys back when it is time to unmold and we'll see how our little dinosaurs did. See you soon, guys. Sorry, I forgot to give you a close up. They're just molds with resin in them. Just funky little colors. Alright, see you soon. Hi guys, we're back. It's been 24 hours. Well, probably 19. <laughs> 19 hours. Looks like we had a little mishap here. One of my dinosaurs ran over. But we'll be able to clip that off. A lot of the detail in these molds are pretty cool. still soft enough where I can I don't have my glasses on so I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't <clears throat> slip and cut his head off I'll cut the rest off later Man, that I must have put these on an uneven base. I will get them all unmolded. Ugh. These are stuck together. These are so cute. 
they're unmolding very nicely like I said these are really smushy smushy flexible molds they don't feel cheap at all They are a matte finish because the mold is matte. So, like, if you're looking for a shiny mold, then you need, to, or a shiny finish, then you need to buy a shiny mold. But I didn't need a shiny mold because dinosaurs aren't all shiny. And I'll be putting these into resin. So, <coughs> let me show you a couple. I mean, the colors aren't dinosaurish, so don't judge me on that. And the pterodactyl. See, there's some areas where I have to, oops, where I have to cut. But it's still soft enough. This is the T-Rex. He was the color shifting one that was all color shifting. This is the one, what's it called? The Brontosaurus, like Littlefoot was. <laughs> you guys remember that movie? I love that movie. And then here are the little leaves. They all have pretty good um, real good detail in them. So, all right, there you have it. Uh, I'll probably be making another batch of them. And of course, I'll make glitter dinosaurs because that would be cool. But these are for Remy, so we're going to keep the glitter out of it for now. But I'd like to thank you for watching my video. And if you're looking for a group to join, Come join us at United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. No, 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 we changed the name. United We Pour Fluid Art Group. I run that with uh, Tammy Anderson. So it's United We Pour Fluid Art Group. And uh, hope to see you guys over there. You can share your work over there and get all kinds of support. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.